Happy Friday! Welcome back to Liz Does Cocktails, Baker's Edition. Woohoo! We have gone through nine guys and we're on to the tenth one. Episode 10 was great. It's when Mary's childhood best friend Kyle comes to town. I don't know, he there's a lot of nurturing and caring in this episode that Kyle does for Mary. And I think that when I personally think about like someone taking care of me and how like when you're going to sleep at night, how nice it is to get like a tucked in kiss. And I felt like a fitting cocktail for this week would be a good night kiss. Because it's, you know, and comforting. And when you think about a good night kiss, I don't know, it makes yeah. me all cozy. Same. It's on the right person if it's a good kiss. <laughs> No, it's absolutely true. Otherwise, you're like going to bed being like, what the hell can I leave? So for the good night kiss, you're gonna need some champagne, Campari, bitters, and some sugar cubes. Super, super, super easy. So I'll give you a sugar cube, and you just wanna do a little drop of bitters on your sugar cube. That's pretty interesting. Sorry, I'm not good. I think you should like shake it out. No, like shake it out this way. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. And then you can drop that into your champagne flu. And then you can add- What did I just lick? What is that? Bitters, is it bitter? It's pretty bitter. Yeah. But, you know, nostalgia can be bitter. Absolutely. Bittersweet. I'm the most nostalgic person ever. Like, I'm pretty sure the reason why I only talk to half the guys I talk to is because of the nostalgia and the memories that we used to have. Anyway. A splash of Campari in your drink. Two more. Wow. All right. <laughs> I'm out. There you go. It was and do a little splash of Campari in here. These are pretty amazing splash of flutes. Thank right you. They're so they're pretty... toasting flutes. You're not supposed to like put them down. They're only supposed to be used oh, for toasting. Where the hell else? Where, how do you put them down? You can't put them you down. You just have to hand them to a little So we just gotta fit, we gotta drink it up. That's totally what they're for. And then after your Campari. Save. Yes. Top it off with some good, good, good. champagne. <laughs> No. Ah, oh, good. Boom. Damn. I feel like I need a little bit more or else it's Campari. Go slow. Slow. Oh, there we go. Slow. Make sure you do this slowly. Okay. Cheers. Wait, look how beautiful this is. Ready. That does look cool. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to nostalgia. Yeah, and how bittersweet it is. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't too bittersweet. Hopefully this isn't. <laughs> I think I put too much Campari in it. It tastes like orange cough syrup. It literally just hurt my mouth. It's disgusting. Never drink this. This is disgusting. I am like yucked out. Yeah, this is so gross. But it's pretty. It's really pretty. If you guys have a better idea and a way to incorporate Campari and champagne, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you know every time my video is released. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and yeah, happy Friday. Cheers. I'll see you guys next week.